In this tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you how to refer a student for behavioral reasons. So what you'll do is log into Infinite Campus. This is generally where you will go, your campus instruction page where you take attendance, work your grade book, um, form and, um, and edit and modify your seating charge. So what you'll need to do though for a behavior referral is go over here to the upper right hand side and there you'll see these um, this grid of nine dots. Click once on it and you'll click on campus tools. Now let's go over here to the far left side and you'll notice that there's several categories. You'll want to click on this arrow next to behavior and then you'll click on behavior referral. Now, one thing that our administration wants you to do is fill this out as soon as possible after you have sent the student out of your classroom to the detention room. So what you'll do is click on new and then right here, you'll notice that it has discipline, in the middle here, the date of the incident and the time. Now, of course, I'm recording this early in the morning, so you'll it will timestamp uh, to the exact time that you have opened up the behavior referral window. Notice too that it has a series of of administrators. Now, um, what you'll want to do is just click on the current administrators who happen to be Mr. Godnick. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key. Mr. Gray, down here Mr. Peterson, and uh, well I'm on a Mac so let me do that one again. Mr. Godnick, I'm holding down the command key on, on my iMac. Mr. Gray, Mr. Peterson, and uh, Ms. Plantaric. Okay. Now, uh, those are the four that should be getting this. Now, eventually, um, you'll be seeing uh, Ms. Saldana right here. Uh, she is not yet in the system, so you'll also want to click on her name as well. Title? Well, in this case, let's say I sent out a student for uh, refusing to uh, turn over her cell phone, okay? And the context? would be during my class the description um, well in something like this which you'll probably want to do is um, um, uh, texting let's say I caught this student texting during class time notice here the location of course that will be in your classroom then I put I'll put down the room number of my classroom you want to tell um, be sure that you've uh, documented that then a little bit about the details uh, student was texting during class warned to put a cell phone away uh, found later texting uh, asked for phone refused to hand it over okay let's uh, so something that's that's tells you tells uh, the administration exactly what happened um, and by the way one thing I I do is I also during the detail during this detail window I copy this so I've clicked and dragged across it and on my Mac, Command-C, if you're on a PC, it would be Control-C. Now I need to put, on, put the name of the student right here. This window pops up. Now, under Event Type, there are several um, categories. And you'll notice as you begin looking through this, here's fighting, insubordination, which is sort of what happened. Um, in this instance, uh, I mean a lot of things right here. Uh, you'll want to scroll down to here because this is more of the item. I mean, this is something. These are the categories put in here by Infinite Campus for all schools. Our school district, though, has put in everything from here down. And uh, in the case of this, there is one in here for. Uh, and uh, I'm 
looking for it real quick. Sorry, folks. It takes a little while to get used to all this. Hey, electronic devices. There it is. Electronic devices. Because this is a, a school rule violation of, because the girl refused to give me your cell phone. Okay? Now, I have to put in her name. And I'm just going to use, and by the way, this is a very good student of mine, so I'm just going to use her, and her name is uh, Gabby Acosta, and there it is. Details, well, now, you'll basically want to repeat what you put on the previous page right here, so I'm pasting it in here, but in the case of, um, uh, say you're having to um, send several students out on referral, what you'll want to do is let's say uh, two students were uh, fighting in your classroom okay well for the first participant you'll probably want to put something unique to that pers person right here and then uh, what his participation was in the fight and then you'll put the second student here let me just go ahead and find another student uh, Alfredo Acosta and let's put him in and then let's say that uh, you know, what was his participation? You'll put his part of the infraction right here as well. And then what you'll do is, in this case, um, you'll, uh, you know, what you'll do is click Save Draft, okay? So after you've put down the students uh, on the referral, the students you sent out, and what they individually had in participating here, uh, let's, in this case, let me just do this. Um, Try uh, tried to hide the cell phone. All right, just I'm just putting something in here for demonstration. I click save draft. All right, so here down here are the two students. Here's what happened, and now up here I click submit. Okay, and by and after you have submitted it, then it will go to the administration and this particular um, behavior referral is now on record. Uh, you should be getting an email back from administration uh, to let you know what they have done uh, as a result of your referral. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to, first of all, call home because every referral you should call home to the parents and let them know uh, why you referred their their student out, and uh, where you record and log these uh, particular parent contacts. That's coming up in a future tutorial. Look for that here on Infinite on the school website.